Did you know that the Indian startup scene is now the third biggest in the world? Pretty impressive, right? But here's the thing. Before the pandemic hit, the Indian education technology or edtech startups were doing pretty well. They had one major success story, Byju's, which was a unicorn. But then, in just the last three years, things really heated up in the edtech world. Six new edtech on startups joined the billion dollar club. That's like hitting the jackpot in the startup world. That's some serious growth. Today, we have got the pleasure to have Mr. Raghav Mishra with us. Raghav is not your typical entrepreneur. He's a startup entrepreneur in the edtech world. Raghav is the brains behind Doubt Connect, a fantastic platform designed for after-school learning and tracking. But here's the cool part: Doubt Connect is tailored specifically for small schools. Raghav's out there making a real difference in the world of education. Hi Raghav. Raghav, could you please start by telling us a bit about yourself? Your you appear quite young. So how old are you, Raghav? Yeah, I just turned turned 23. Uh so uh I uh, we started Doubt Connect about Uh, about a year ago, about a year and a half ago, back in November 2021, and uh, since then we've had over 60,000 users, all over a million doubts, created over a million minutes of learning content on the platform. We've uh, almost in- integrated our services in about 15 schools so far. We also not limited ourselves to schools, but we also working with uh, a lot of edtechs, where we sort of become the third-party doubt-solving partner as well. uh so we see a lot of synergies over there so we're trying to transform uh the whole uh, tier 2 and tier 3 landscape edu- education landscape over there uh, our vision is to enable a generation go upwards in the learning curve so how do we do that we use a lot of technology and data to help close gaps in education so we've, we've found a gap right now we believe that this problem is not only limited to india but also the the world so yeah i think we've just started So, राघव क्या आप बचपन से ही बिजनेस मैन बनना चाहते थे या आप ये कैसे हुआ मतलब वेन डी टू डिसाइड दैट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट योर ओन बिजनेस हाउ डिड दिस आइडिया कम टू योर माइंड या श्योर इट वॉज इन अंटिल आई वॉज फिफ्टीन ईयर ओल्ड आई वॉज एक्चुअली पार्ट ऑफ आई एक्चुअली बिल्ड स्टार्टअप कॉल जस्ट ड्रॉप वेन आई वॉज माई इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड सो दैट्स वेन आई एक्चुअली गॉट अ चांस टू पिच माई स्टार्टअप टू दिपिंद गोयल फ्रॉम जोमैटो uh so we i came in fourth i was trying to build a hyper local delivery platform which is just like zepto back in 2016 so this is not your first uh, startup raghav uh, no this is in my first uh, okay. so yeah i think over after that i really got into this whole uh, system of private equity startups venture capital which really excited me uh and then during the pandemic when uh, our colleges were functioning off online uh, so we had a lot of time in our hands and that's when we saw a problem so it isn't something that i w- always wanted to be an entrepreneur but i think when i saw a problem i saw it worth solving it for we decided that you know why don't we just solve it for using technology that's when it really started so it became a blessing in disguise i can say that yeah that's one way of looking at it yeah so uh, raga like uh, who really inspired you to become a startup entrepreneur who was your role model like uh, or or any situation that really motivated you to start your own business um i think uh, more than a role model it was the problem that we were really attached to i think the fact that we were solving in edtech and me and my co-founder weber we just been out of 12 standard in 2018 right so we could relate to the problem much more than any other typical uh, you know uh, operator slash edtech founder could do so i think that closeness to the problem was one thing that really motivated us uh, i think there are not it is not this there isn't any single motivation behind us starting i think there are a couple of factors such as you know the time that we had the technology that we had the problem that we saw i think all these three reasons actually motivated me and my co-founder web of uh, uh, who's actually been my best friend since boarding school who also went on to become my uh, co-founder so we've known each other for over 15 years that's how we started really we really started this weren't you afraid of failing raga like what if if did if, if this business didn't work so weren't you afraid of failing This is the best age to fail, I guess. I mean, uh, we we don't really have a lot of things to lose, right? What will happen? Yeah, you started at a really young age, so you had time in your hand. So yeah, I think that that really went for me. So yeah. So uh, Raghav, funding is often the most critical aspect of starting a business. So yeah. could you share uh, share how you secured funding for your business, for your idea? Yeah. 
so so fighting has been been very easy for us uh, uh, although we've got some really amazing investors uh, in our in our journey uh, who have uh, really been very instrumental not only by just investing in investing money but also uh, advising and mentoring us starting from Mukesh Sharma uh, who happens to be the founder of QA IPL Tech also owns the Prometheus school in uh, Noida sector 10 uh, sector 110 so i think he uh, himself has been an entrepreneur started from the bottom has invested in about a lot of companies uh, in tech in retail tech and a lot of other companies so i think his experience his network actually guided us to uh, sort of you know understand the also the harsh realities of building a startup but also you know uh, leveraging the network to build a company right so i think his network helped us a lot apart from him uh, we also raised some funds from uh, rajni chaturvedi uh, who was who was in fact our first investor in the company so he was also just like a father figure to us we would actually go to his office uh we go to his residence and then he me and my co-founder he would actually make a set he would write uh, write uh, things in a uh, in a notebook or a piece of paper it's explaining things in a very uh step by step manner right so all those things were very instrumental we were very lucky to raise funds from the government of india as well uh we got a grant of 7 lakh rupees from uh the government of india so that also helped us to sort of uh, scale our business apart from that we won couple of prizes as well so in those prizes we somehow won about 1.5 lakh rupees 1 lakh rupees so that also helped so we haven't raised a very substantial amount of uh, funds we've raised about 20 lakh rupees but yeah i think we've been uh, we've been very particular about saving money being frugal and uh, you know thinking about the long term game raghav you also read somewhere that you had won the global students entrepreneurs award can you please tell us yeah. more about that? like what what that award is how much amount did you uh, win gsca the global student entrepreneur awards is organized by eo so eo uh, is an organization that uh, that comprises of all almost all successful entrepreneurs across the globe right so it also uh, has i guess it also has elon musk part of it so from the us so uh, so there are couple of entrepreneurs who are part of this who try to hold this competition to sort of uh, instill young entrepreneurship in students right so uh, gse in india was organized by the pune chapter this time which means that mm-hmm. all the participants across the country uh, came to pune so before reaching pune we had a round uh, in we had a regional round so my regional round was in mumbai uh, i i won that round after winning that round i came to pune uh, for my uh, india nationals after winning the india nationals we had our south asia nationals uh, south asia global round where a lot of startups from bhutan nepal indonesia singapore and all those other south asian countries had come so after winning that we i qualified for the uh, semi finals the uh, global semi finals where there were there were about 12 students across the globe uh, competing for a 100000 dollar prize money so that that is how the whole uh, uh, the whole competition works so raghav can you please tell our viewers like uh, what exactly uh, like who are the organizers of gsca and how to participate in that could you shed some light on that please uh, okay so uh, i think almost all colleges in india receive a uh, invitation from the gsca asking the students in the college who are sort of building their own business to participate in it Uh, but apart from that, you can also find the participation link in S6S, which is a very famous startup discovery platform. You can find it over there, or you can just Google uh, GSEA, which is Global Student Entrepreneur Awards, and you might find uh, uh, the link to participate in it. Once you participate, you're going to have a virtual round. Uh, once you win that, you're going to have to travel to the regional round, and if you win that, then again, as I said before, the whole uh, competition follows. as long okay. as you're a student you can participate in it so coming to your business uh, startup raghav doubt connect is an edtech platform but in the post uh, post covid world where students are returning to traditional modes of education how was your business being faring like um, how has it been doing uh, 3 years before now when the pandemic started and uh, in 2023 sure uh, well well swati i think uh, our growth in business has actually come after students have started to go to school uh, so mm-hmm. uh, if you if i were to tell you our major growth in our business has come from july 2022 before that we were growing about 10 to 15% uh, month on month but after july 2022 uh, 
you started to grow uh, about 40% month on month in in some cases so that has been a very big catalyst that students have started to go to school but once they come from schools uh, they've started to indulge in a platform more right and we have been trying to solve uh, for students who actually live in tier 2 tier 3 and places where internet is internet is there but quality of tutors is really bad right so that also is a very big catalyst of students coming to our platform and using our services so uh in that way uh considering the target market that we have uh we've seen a lot of growth in our users who have been coming to the platform so is your platform doubt connect is only for the schools ragam or you uh individually also any students can enroll for your program yeah so we have our own discord community so students can come and join our discord community and uh sort of uh, use our platform but our major focus and we do cater to students as well so it's not that we only cater to individual students, also and through schools also okay. yeah anyone can join the platform but our major focus or major source of revenue comes from schools so that's where our major focus comes from so currently are you targeting only the indian market or you have your programs launched outside uh, india also so we do have some partnerships in place for nepal uh we're definitely expanding in nepal in the next one month or so uh we do have indonesia and a uh, couple of south asian countries with poor learning outcomes in our uh, in our minds but uh, that's going to take some time but i think for now uh, our major focus is going to revolve around nepal and all those uh, states in india that suffer from poor learning outcomes which could be odisha jharkhand bihar and all those places okay So Raga what sets doubt connect apart from other edtech pl- platforms your uh, competitors Yeah so uh, we've got about uh, three main players in the you know in the SaaS market so essentially we're a SaaS platform right because we give our dashboard to our clients so we're a B2B SaaS platform we've tried to build build a lot of moats in our platform starting from technology uh, so for example we've built our own uh, AI chatbot which is chatter.ai Uh, so it is built along the lines of uh, chat gpt right and what we've been able to do is we've been able to reduce the hallucin- hallucination rate lesser than chat gpt so chat gpt has a hallucination rate of 9% we have been able to bring it to 2% oh, uh, so this, that uh, sorry to interrupt you ragav so this is only for the schools who have enrolled for your program like two school schools yeah. or the students mm-hmm. who have enrolled for the doubt connect program they can use your chatbot the ai uh, chatur yeah. uh, ai chatbot yeah so okay. so that gives us an s uh, edge over there apart from that what we also been doing so it's it's very uh, easy to use right our platform is very easy to use yet there's a lot of technology interplay in that for example if a student has a doubt he comes to the platform he uploads it and within 35 to 45 seconds you get connected to an educator so it's just like it's even actually it's just like booking an uber right whenever i need a doubt or whenever i need a cab i just come to the platform i book it there's a driver around or there's a teacher around and i get connected to them right so and based on six parameters which is your board your grade your class your subject your sub topic and a doubt so it, we go into granular levels to help a student get connected to an educator so that actually helps us uh, sort of uh, get connected in a better way and hence ensuring better learning outcomes okay so raghav ye kin age group ko aap target karke ye program apna apne design kiya yeah so hamara abhi jo focus hai wo hai uh, 14 se lekar 18 uh, years ke bachcho ke liye हम लोग एट भी कर रहे हैं टू स्कूल में हमने एट टू ट्वेल्थ भी किया है बट हमने लगता है कि हमारा प्लेटफॉर्म बहुत स्केलेबल है तो हम लोग सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड से ट्वेल्थ या फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड से ट्वेल्थ भी कर सकते हैं ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम जब हमारे पास ऑपरेशन केपेबिलिटी होगी टेक्नोलॉजी है हमारे पास एक बार हमारे पास ऑपरेशन केपेबिलिटी आ जाए तो फिर हम आराम से फिफ्थ से ट्वेल्थ भी कर सकते हैं so if i ask you to explain in simple words raghav to agar agar main ek student hu maine aapke program ke liye enroll kiya to mujhe kya benefits milenge isse main kya usme uh, seekh paungi sure agar main aapko ek full stack view do to agar aap ek school hai right agar hum school ke point of view se dekhte hain to agar aap ek school hai to aapke schools ka hum pura operations hum ekdam efficient kar denge right uh, uh, agar main example dun aapko ek uh, aaj ki tarikh mein teachers itne bade bade bundles of paper carry karte hain for correction right which is so inefficient which is so tiresome which is so which is so wrong right humne kya kiya mm-hmm. what we been able to do is we been able to use uh, computer vision right so now uh, what happens is the assessment that is given by the teacher is online the assessment received by the student is also online they can write on that 
and then they send the answers on uh, in a pdf to the teacher only and the teacher can connect correct it to computer vision so it it has become able yes. to it has been able to uh, mitigate uh, the amount of time the teachers used to wait uh, to get that correct right so that is one thing students have been able to get an answer uh, quickly right So Raghav thank you so much for interacting with us I'm sure your story will inspire students and young generation entrepreneurs to chase their dreams